sword. Network. What's up, guys? This is Lil Wooly618, and today I'm going to try something called Freaky Friday News. It's a little series I'm going to try to start where I pull up some articles from online sources, and I'm going to talk to you guys about them. And the first one that I found, and when I saw this, I was kind of overjoyed, um, is titled, In Case of Nuclear War, Beer Will Survive. Now, at first you think, you know, that's a lot of drunk cockroaches. But, it's weird because it says in the article that in 1950s, in the 1950s, the United States military was doing tests on, you know, what foods um, would be uh, edible, you know, what would be good for in the event of a nuclear war. If, you know, if we get nuked, what items should we have in the for um you know survival kits and it was sort of just supposed to be you know like packaged food and stuff but soda and beer got involved because they were possible they were thought to be very possible um no pos possible and justifiable um sources of liquid so they did these tests and they placed them like you no, know, anywhere between 0.2 to 2 miles away in bottles and in cans. And, you no, know, they tested these out and they said that beer was still, that the beer was still good enough for consumption. But the way they tested it was really weird. Um, they said in this article that the beverages were sent away for further, more official taste tests. While some of the soft drinks were dubbed definitely off, it was decided that, quote, the beer could unquestionably be used as an emergency source of portable or potable beverages, end quote. So that means beer is drinkable whenever it's nuked. Beer is nuked pr nuke proof. So don't worry, guys. Just keep a case of beer handy, and if we get nuked, we should be fine. And um, I like the last line of this article before I go any further. It says, um, it says, quote, the last line, quote, Interestingly, there's no mention of testing the radiation levels. It seems that flavor was all that mattered in the potential aftermath of the atomic bomb. Well, duh, we're not going to drink bad beer, okay? So don't even get me started on that. Now, the second article that I got for you guys today comes from Fox Sports and apparently Victoria's Secret has a deal with Cowboy Stadium because since Cowboy Stadium is such a big stadium that they've decided to put in a Victoria's Secret in Cowboy Stadium. And my first thought was like, they're gonna put underwear in Cowboy Stadium. If I'm a woman, I do not want to go to that Victoria's Secret because you just got a bunch of fat, drunk men that want to come. They're probably gonna come after the football game, gonna come and watch women try on underwear. That's what it seems like to me. But you read it, but when it's already the article, um. Kind of made sense why they did it. Um, the Victoria's Secret Store is going to be that, you know, the whole pink series where they, uh, you know, sell all the pink merchandise. And, you know, they're going to be selling t shirts, hoodies, tank tops, and underwear. Duh. But, you know, they announced this on Friday. They had announced that. Victoria's Secret, that, or the um, own, the Cowboys owner uh, Jerry Jones uh, said on a what on a radio station down in Dallas, saying you know that they're that you know well we got beautiful places of Cowboys Stadium, and you know we got all this stuff and oh, wait wait a minute, RC don't you dare come here don't you dare no no 
Stay away. Get away. Ah. Oh, damn. Okay, but, uh, anyway. Uh, they announced on Friday that they were going to, that, you know, Cowboy Sam has all these beautiful places around it. You know, it's a gorgeous stadium. You know, why not have pretty clothes? Jerry, we all know you want to look at the girls' underwear. But apparently Victoria's Secret has been selling a lot of sports apparel in the past. Um, you know, maybe this is a, maybe Victoria's Secret maybe has to deal with the Cowboys to sell a pink, uh, Cowboys t-shirt, or Cowboys t-shirts and Cowboys jerseys, um, at the games and stuff, you know. It's something weird, something unique. I thought it was kind of funny. And the last line of this is just hysterical. Whoever wrote this is a genius, but... The last line of this article is, quote, At least Jessica Simpson won't have to go far now if she ever wants to replace her pink Tony Romo jersey. That one, I just lost it. I, I laughed my ass off on that one. Well, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, if you got a like in your pants, make sure to whip it out and smack that like button. And then smack that subscribe button in the face. And also favor this video, share this video on Twitter, on Facebook. If you do have a Twitter, make sure to follow me at LilWooly618. You know, subscribe and get, you know, get some more hilarious videos. And in the comments, tell me how you like this. Um, I'm going to leave the links to all to these two articles in the description. So read the articles. Tell me what you thought about, you know, about this series if you guys want to see more but for now that's my time this is Lil Wooly 618 and I'm out enemy care package incoming do not let this happen again comrades